Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today I am at home at the farm um, and we are going to be bringing some of the horses back into work. So Lucy and Chili have had Christmas off. All of my horses basically always have kind of December off. Um, obviously Snip didn't, Smokey did. He's come back into work for the last week um, now and Chill and Lucy have not been ridden for a while so we're going to bring them both back into work. I'm going to ride Lucy and I think Mum's going to ride Chilly. Um, we're just going to go feed them all now. Caramel is screaming. Um, but yeah we're just going to go feed them all now and then we're going to fetch those two up and ride. So yeah maybe interesting and then I'm going to ride Smokey later as well so that they've all been worked. So it's our first proper riding day of 2023. Um, plans have definitely changed for this year and I'll talk you through that a little bit later. But for now, we've got six very hungry horses to feed. So let's go do that. Caramellos. Oh. So the the livery yard's on sand and these guys are very much on mud. Not nice. So we're gonna empty over here so you don't have to stand in the mud. You look like a little farewell caramel. Yes. I'm having to do everything one handed, so you're not helpful. Oh no. Here you go. Give up it. Oh god. I might have to put you guys down while I feed them because this is a lot of effort one handed. There you go, Kara. Oh. Excuse you. So half of riding the horses at home is just trying to get the mud off them. Because this I mean, Caramel's got one of the best paddocks, but um, I'll show you the state of chilies. That's not in a good way. And yes, all of the horses are fluffy. They're all looking a bit feral. Look at that mane, Lulu. What is that? Hello, gorgeous. Please don't be wild and kill me. Mr. Chili Pepper. I mean, look at the state of these fields, guys. Oh, do not buy clay land, whatever you do. And we've had drainage put in this year, and they're still bad. Mr. Tiff Tuffs. Divvy Daff. My old man. You need a groom, mate. I know it's coming. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, don't wait. So as you know, Tiff's doesn't have many teeths. So it all gets emptied into here. Into a circular ground feeder from JFC. Yes, it does. There you go. Oh. And then this gets emptied. He's chopped up haylage over here. Put it on the grass. So he literally gets all of this chopped because his little teeth can't cope otherwise. So, little tip for you if you do have extreme muddy fields, train your horses to put their head over the fence so that you can put their head colour on and you can stay on the dry, clean side. Yeah, exactly. So this is what we do. We train the horses. Do you know what it is? Good girl. Mum's fetching chill up. He looks lovely and clean. Ooh. So I've got to wait until he goes up because otherwise she spooks him. Um, but basically, we're going to try and bring Chili back into work. Now I know, literally, about a month ago, I said, I'm not going to ride Chili anymore. I'm not going to try and compete him. Well, now that Snips um, can't compete, I was like, I've got a children for sat in a flight field. 
Um, Mum is going to try and bring him into fitness for me because that is why me and Chili struggle. I get on him and if there's not a jump up, he literally is like, not doing anything. And I don't know why, because I ride literally almost exactly the same as my mum. My mum is a better dressage rider than me. I will say that all day long. However, we ride very similar. Um, but Chili just doesn't go forward for me. I can wear spurs. He's not reactive to spurs. He's not reactive to a whip. Unless there's a jump. And then he will jump for me all day long. So the plan is, hopefully, fingers crossed, mum is going to bring him into work, get him fitted up. I will ride Lucy and Smokey in the meantime, um, just get them going a bit, and then we will hopefully take Chill to a clinic in a few, well, in quite a few weeks time, because he really has no fitness at the minute, um, So, I'd, and he's an older boy, like it takes longer to get him into fitness, like I can literally ride Smokey for two weeks and probably take him to a clinic, I wouldn't do that with Chilly, you know, it's like, what, seven, sixteen, seventeen 17 now? Come on Lulu! But yeah, and then maybe we'll even do some dressage on Lucy. Because she's a good girl. You're a good girl, aren't you, Lou? Oh, I hate this gate. <laughs> I'll be back with you in a minute because this gate is atrocious. So the first task once the horses are in is to pop some gloves on and to take their mud boots off. So all of the big horses, because they churn up their paddocks so badly, all wear four mud boots when they go out just to save their legs getting absolutely caked in mud and also to stop any mud fever and things like that. And now as you can see, these work wonders. We have loads of different types, styles, um, brands. I think the Shire's Armour ones are the ones that Lulu's got on, um, but basically every single day they wear these, they get turned out in them. Then when they come in, we take them off and hose them all down and then dry them out ready for the next day. Um, unfortunately being on clay land that is just the reality of winter it's horrible it's muddy it's wet um, but the horses really don't mind they're really not bothered so once I've done this it's then time to try and get the mud off Lucy honestly I don't know how these horses manage to make themselves so dirty within literally a couple of days from being groomed but they do all of my horses love a roll they always have done and you know clearly their loving life being feral creatures. So I've tried to groom her for what feels like about 45 minutes and it's the same colour it was to begin with. Slightly less mud stuck everywhere. I've had to take my coat off because I'm so dusty from all the mud that and that's not really one that's easy to wash um but yeah this is the best we're gonna get this is a reality of owning horse in winter they're muddy dirty things and they never look good she needs a hog clearly because she looks like a zebra um but i'm just gonna tack up because i can't do anymore right lucy you've not seen a saddle in a while oh. but this is one Ooh.
So Lulu's been out of work for about two months, so we're doing a lot of long and low to warm up. Um, basically on Lucy, when you first bring her back into work, you can't take too much of a contact. Um, and we'll be doing walk and trot to fit in her up a little bit before asking her for canter. We will probably do a week or two, well not two weeks, I can't do two weeks of walk and trot, I'll lose my marbles. Um, we'll do a week of trot work before we ask her for canter because I don't know if you guys remember last year when Lucy had a break from work but she almost broke my ankle um, because what she likes to do is she gets very excited about cantering when she's not been ridden for a while and likes to bronk but Lucy puts some big stinking books in and chucks her um, and throws her outside shoulder and there's literally nothing to hold on to. She is a wide wide horse um, with a very flat back and normally doesn't have a mane so last year she literally like tore the ligaments in my ankle well, in my foot and I had a big fat ankle and was on crutches so we will be taking it very very steady this year and it is return of mum's filming um bless her Sharon does her best but yeah she's no professional videographer but she did keep me in frame today but I put the GoPro on wide so that she could um but yeah Lulu went really well, she was a very good girl, um, she didn't spook, she didn't look at anything and to say she's not had a saddle on her back in two months, you would not think it. She definitely needs a makeover, like she just looks like a big fat fairy cob at the moment. And there's nothing wrong with a big fat fairy cob, but this is a dressage diva, really. It's a cob that can, so um, we need to get her looking like one. Sweating up, George. I've got to cool it down, haven't I? You've I mean about well schooled, do you know what I mean? They never forget it, do they? Ben? Yeah, I'm just thinking which rain it was. It's usually a right one. So, Miss Lulu, weren't you a good girl? Weren't you a good girl? It's when you bring her into canter, when she's coming in, that she likes to book and bronk. So, we'll start with walk and trot for now, until she's got the idea that she's back into work. And now it's Mum's turn to ride Mr. Chili Pepper. Are you going to be a good boy, Jill? Are you going to be a good boy for Mum? Yes. So yeah, Mum's going to ride Chill now. <sighs> and I'm going to give Lucy a sugar cube for being a good girl. Did you hear sugar cube? Yes. Let's go get you one. Yeah, wipes it. Who's a good girl? Hmm, <laughs> good girl, Luz. Oh, look at colour of you, Chilly Bob. He also needs clipping and bathing and everything else. He's like a polar bear. I've never known a warm blood get this sort of coat. Because what is he? He's Holsteiner, isn't he? <sighs> Big fluffy Holsteiner. Maybe it gets cold in Germany in winter. <laughs> Colder than Ho Holland. Because Danny do not get a coat like that. And they're off. 
close the gate before we have any runaways. Wind's picked up for a moment as well. Lovely. Just what you want when you're sat on the 17 and beast. Oh, I've just realised I'd left it on narrow setting for mum, so that means that you probably didn't see half of me and Lucy. Oh well, let me just adjust that. Hopefully that's a bit better. You can actually see them. Sorry if I was ages away. So mum is basically going to do the same with Chili what I did with Lucy today. He'll probably do more trot work than Lulu because he's a little bit fitter than she is. Um, so the way I've always worked it with my horses is the five minute rule. So I start by riding 10 minutes, then each day I add five minutes and that will be walk and trot until I get to the 30 minute point. So once we've reached for 30 minutes, then five minutes of that will be canter. Then the next day I'll ride for 30 minutes, but 10 minutes of it will be canter. And then the third day I'll ride for 30 minutes and then half of your time you're cantering. Um, and then you can start to build up your canter more and more. So that's how I've always fitted my horses up and it's always worked really well for me. It's nice and slow for my older um, horses when they're coming back into work and it's just enough to ask them a little bit more each day but not to cause any injuries. Last time we brought Chili into work we um, we didn't rush him, he, we thought he was a lot fitter than he actually was um, and we started doing a bit of canter a bit soon and he did pull a muscle so that's why we're being extra cautious with them. But the plan with Chill is that in six weeks time I have got a jumping clinic with my trainer so he just needs to be fit enough for that really um, and then hopefully if all goes well we might see him out and about doing a bit of show jumping because I am determined determined to get this horse show jumping at some point um, and as you can see from today he hasn't really been snorting or head shaking or anything so his allergies are doing really well at the moment it's just whether his allergies cope if we take him somewhere else um, so that will be the big test this spring but I thought if I have enough that I've got in work so I've got Lucy to do some dressage on Smokey to do our fun days on and then Chili to jump then that will keep me happy and my brain focused on something other than Snip being, um, well not ill, but Snip not being able to be ridden. So we're trying to throw everything we can um, at me this spring and summer to keep me occupied and then we'll also have Snip's rehab later in the year. <laughs> so that's both horses ridden. Isn't it chilli pepper? Oh, I've left it on thingy so it's all zoomy zoomed. Oh, hello. Um, but yeah, they both went really well. We both love to tell the tale. And literally we just taught them both in to do some walk and trot for about 10, 15 minutes because they need to come into work. Um, slowly, mum was saying last time she brought Chill in, um, he managed to sort of pull a muscle a little bit. So you've got to be nice and gentle with him. Um, but yeah, the aim is in six weeks time to take him out um, to do either a clinic or something. Um, so that is what I've said to mom in six weeks time, I like to take him out somewhere. So fingers crossed, we hit that and he's fit enough to do something in six weeks. Lulu, there's not really um, pressure to do anything with. Um, I'd like to take her out to do a little bit of dressage this summer. Um, so yeah, possibly with Miss Lucy Lou. You're so good. Honestly, she's actually one of the nicest to ride when she's um, going and when she's in work. Aren't you? You're so good. The cob that can. But yeah, me and mum are going to... Oh, it's just got a... Oh. Um, me and I'm going to head around for a cuppa while the horses have some hay. And I think I'm going to ride smokes tomorrow now. So I'm just wiping... Um, I think I'm going to ride Smokey tomorrow now, so I will film that tomorrow if you don't see anything more today. So as for Mr Smokes, he's been back in work just over a week now. Um, I am very lucky with Smokey because the live yard where he's at, we have fantastic access to hacking and that is the easiest way to get this pony fit and ready. He's already going out cantering, um, only for short bursts, but that's what he loves. We started in the arena, did literally we've done one session in the arena and then everything else has been hacking. That's the best way to fit in your horses up um, and it's a lot better for Smokey's brain. Like he loves hacking, he loves going out and if I put him in the arena every day like the other horses, he just, he'd go very sour. So 
lots and lots of hacks for smokes plans for smokey um for 2023 are fun rides maybe a little bit of cross country because he did enjoy that last year we will be doing some jumping but i'm not aiming to really compete him um yeah i just i still don't want to put the pressure on smokes because as we found out before when we put the pressure on is when i put pressure on myself and when it kind of just all doesn't work um and he gets really reactive so we're going to see what he's happy with and if he's happy with everything then we'll push him a little bit more um but he's a sensitive soul as we all know so anyway <laughs> today we're going on a hack somewhere very different somewhere we've never been before we're going up the riverbank and through some woodland so it's going to be a really lovely hack um and i'm using my new body cam that well it's not a new camera it's my gopro i filmed everything in my gopro today so let me know in the comments what it's like um it's very hard to tell when you're editing what the quality of that is like it's not as good as my big camera but it might be okay for vlogs let me know what you think um but yeah that is what we did today a very nice hack on a rather forward but very good pony good boy Can't you grab that one? And I'll close this one. Aha. Smokes, do gate. You'll do it. Go on. No, wrong way. That way. Smokes, do gate. Good boy. Smoky gate. Good. Gate. Good boy. jump but it's not a jump you just gonna have to put your feet over good boy oh, oh, oh. you were good then i don't want you to jump i just want you to walk because if you jump you're gonna wake yourself good boy i love this horse today good lad come on friends your friend's on this side now we can try So we got very lost on this hack. We didn't really know where we were going. It was beautiful, but there was no clear path home. Um, so we did a bit of an explore. We were actually out for about two hours. Um, so Smokey was very tired by the end of it, bless him. But we did mainly just walk. Um, that's me trying to find out on maps where the hell I need to go to actually escape. Um, but yeah, so we had a lovely hack. 
And so I'm going to end this video here. A massive thank you to everyone for watching this year, um, for subscribing and following. And if you don't already subscribe, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, there's going to be a lot of seeing all of the horses hopefully this year now that plans have changed and obviously I will keep you updated with how Snip's surgery and her rehab goes. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon for more Rudin videos. Bye guys!